Hello everyone, this is Leslie. Welcome back to my channel. If you are someone who likes discussions about frugality and saving money, please like and subscribe to my channel. I am going to talk to you about something I learned in one of my favorite books. It's called The Tightwad Gazette. And it was a book written by Amy Decision in the mid nineties. Um, I will say this over and over again, even though it was written over 25 years ago, the ideas and the tips she gives in that book are are priceless and timeless. So one of the things, and this also in, um, that connects with minimalism, because one of the things that she talks about is taking inventory of your belongings and your items. I, um, and knowing what you have before you t go out and make purchases. I um, have found that over the years, and it's something I've always done, not as well as I should have, Taking inventory of the items that you have will prevent you and keep you from making unnecessary purchases. I have over the years realized at various times, and I have stopped doing it, that I have just too many cups, too many glasses. Recently, I realized I was going through my closet and I'm doing KonMari, that KonMari, and just putting everything, piling it up and trying to go through things. And then I have just way too many pairs of black pants. Um, and way too many white shirts. I think I've talked about this before, and if I haven't, I will tell you. I pretty much only wear black pants, white shirts, and uh, like a sweater or something. And in the summer, it's like a pair of shorts, tan shorts. I'm really pretty minimalist. I, I was not always, but pretty minimalism, uh, minimalist as in my dressing, and that's another discussion. But I do think that you can have too much of anything. So one of one of the ways to prevent overspending is to look at what you have and know what you have. So then when you are tempted to buy that really cute white shirt at whatever store, you say, I don't really need another white shirt. Um, I love to shop at this place, the Goodwill Bins. I've actually not been there for over six months which is something I'm intentionally doing because I'm trying to get rid of the stuff in my house and I don't I don't need any more stuff but I love to go shopping there and sell things f that I get there from eBay but one of the things that is so tempting when you're there is to see a really cute shirt and rationalize that oh this is only going to cost because they pay by the pound it's only going to cost me 50 cents it's only going to cost me a dollar for this white shirt or this pair of black pants or this sweater but at some point you just need to not have any more sweaters because there's a limit to how much you can buy. So one of the things that I think helps you both from a um, frugality point of view as well as a minimalism point of view is to take inventory of your belongings and what you have. A couple of years ago I had, after East, uh, Christmas, gotten a whole bunch of, oh actually these are the mugs. I got a whole bunch of these mugs. And at the end, um, I guess they were like, they were 50 cents each and I got about 12 of them. But when I did that, it was with the understanding that I was going to get rid of all the mugs, that, or not most of the mugs that I have. Very rarely do I need more than 12 mugs in my house. I mean, I very rarely have more than 12 people who, were, who want to drink a cup of tea or coffee. So that was, I, when I bought those, I said, I will pay 50 cents each for these which was a total of $6, but only if I get rid of the other mugs because I just don't need the mugs. Um, I have very much a tendency to hold on to things for sentimental reasons, which is something I've been trying to break for years and years and years. And I've gotten pretty good at it with the exception of some of my kids' stuff. But keeping an inventory and knowing what you need and what you have has been really helpful to me because when I've seen things over the years whether it even be for kids' clothing, if I see something, an adorable dress, I say, mm, nope, we have dresses. I don't need it. I really didn't. I bought very little for my second daughter and virtually nothing for my second and third son because I knew that I had all the clothing. That's an example. But obviously, sometimes they have different body types and that can make a difference. But I'm, I'm starting to ramble. But the, knowing what you have will save you so much money over the over the years especially another big area in which this takes place is in your um in your refrigerator knowing whether or not you have 
some frozen meat in the refrigerator that you can defrost instead of picking up another pound of ground beef is will save you money and it will save you space because once you get that out you're using it you're saving money and you may not need ground beef for another two weeks or three weeks or four weeks so save money save time save um space in your house it's it's all it's all helped if you take inventory of your belongings this is leslie i think i i made the point um thank you so much you can tell i don't use a script and i don't edit my videos so at least now Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this kind of content, please hit like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye-bye.